Happy Sabbath. I'll be sharing my testimony and um, about how God, how good God has been to me. But I would be reading some of it, so I won't forget some of what I wrote. When I came into this world, I came eagerly because I was very curious to see the world. My mother had me prematurely due to having surgery to remove a 10 pound cyst while being prepped with me in her third trimester. One day while being pregnant with me, she thought she had to go to the bathroom, but then realized it was me coming instead. Um, by God's grace, she quickly caught me. I w she quickly caught me just in time. I was tiny and I could have been seriously hurt if mom's hands was not so quick. However, my God was looking out for me right from the very start. When the devil wanted me gone, God saved me. Being a Christian has its many challenges. While growing up, I had my share of storms. I struggled with thinking I knew what was best for me. I tried to fix my own mistakes instead of fully surrendering it to God. Certain things took a turn in the wrong direction, and I found myself faced with situations beyond my control. I let my emotions take the lead and my feelings take over. Sometimes I was lost, confused, and I didn't know what to do. The biggest obstacle I ever would face is myself. In the text, Ephesians 6, 12, it talks about battling principalities, and I can relate to that text. I fell hook, line, and sinker into the devil's traps, believing his lies. However, I'm happy to say God has never let go of me. Amen. He has always had his hands on me, guiding me back into the path he has for me. Amen. In my later teens, my dad passed, and it had affected me a great deal. I was very close to him. I th always thought of myself as being daddy's little girl. It was so hard for some time to not have my dad around, but God became a father to me when I no longer had one and carried me through those tough times in my life. Also later, my mom became sick. She battled two different cancers back to back. Then a series of episodes with her becoming sick with certain health issues and battled series of multiple infections. But God had his hands on her. Through his mercies, he brought her through, thus through a series of miracles. Through it all, he taught me an incredible lesson in trust. Now, when it came to my career goals, I went to college under visual arts imaging to do art because I have a talent, because I have a talent for it. But I realized I no longer wanted to pursue that. I decided I wanted to join the military in the Air Force branch. I thought it would be cool to fly planes. Also, the Air Force has a lot of benefits that I was interested in into as well, but later changed my mind on that as well. I later made the right decision to fully serve God in being a missionary. I decided to go to Wildwood to get medical, to get medical missionary training, but I was not alone in that decision. My sister wanted to do this training as well, but she was not able to at the time. We both love God and want to serve him in a lack of ministry. I had thought of us being the sisters, of, sisters for Christ. We would, we would be on a spiritual mission of, mission of winning souls. Yes. However, we are fulfilling the mission just in a different way by serving him, by just telling others of our faith, by giving them literature, Bible study, or simple advice on, li on better life changes. In grade school, I got baptized, but still had a lot of spiritual growing to do. As I got older, my walk with God grew more, but of course, I would never be perfect. I would have to continue to walk with him daily. I recently got baptized last year because I wanted to rededicate my life to him. That's the best, that's the best decision in all of my life that I could have made, is giving my life to him.
God has brought me a mighty long way, protect me at birth, bring me through life struggles and storms, help me to cope with the loss of my beloved father, sparing my mom and in uncertainty of life's path, he showed me the path he had for me. Following that path for God will never be easy. Though throughout everything in my life, I, now, I know I still have my struggles. The devil tries to bring me down every chance he gets. But while the devil thinks he is winning, God is moving even stronger in me. I never stop listening to that still voice that keeps encouraging me to keep on. Sometimes we don't want to confront our fears, but in order to grow stronger, we must. We have to let go of whatever is holding us back. We must allow God to break the chains, break the chains that are binding us by admitting, by admitting our mistakes and surrendering fully to God. When we are tried in the fire, we are pliable, and then only then can God mold us into his image and place us in the path he has for us. Remember, the longer we stay in the fire, the purer we will become until eventually we come out shining like gold, rejoicing as true overcomers. My goal today is to continue to serve God in any way I can, to use the talents I have been taught to help others. I never thought of myself to do anything big or spectacular. I don't have to change the world. I can't because this world is too complex for me. We face many challenges in this life, whether it's a loss of a loved one, a personal struggle, family breakups, family breakups, natural disasters, or this pandemic we are still facing now. Only God can see us through. God chose us, his Bible-leaving people, to share the gospel. As we see all the different bad situations that occur in our world, we know God is near. The signs are becoming clearer and clearer. I hope that we all are willing to help the gospel be spread to those who need to hear it and hasten our Savior's coming. Amen. 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 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance.